What is up guys, it's your boy GM Solo here and today I'm going to be showing off, showcasing my entire vintage Star Wars collection guys. Now this is going to be a hefty video so I'm not going to do a long introduction guys but all I'm going to say is if you like this guys and you want to see any item in particular then leave a comment down below guys and I will showcase it individually on the channel guys because all these pieces deserve showcasing guys individually because they are insane so guys enjoy the video. Guys, what do you think to the garden? There's been some, some serious gold scoring that net in its day, I tell you. From way back, where are we? Way back here. Right in, where, where are we going? In the, the top corner. But guys, that is not why we're here today. We're here for this. Step ladder. To view for the first time in its entirety. Star Wars collection that you see so often featured in all my videos as the background but I've never had a chance to show you guys so here we are Step ladder Right guys, need to be careful on this We'll not go all the way to the top because I know what will happen There'll be a tumble But guys, first of all the top shelf is filled with all, well I'll say all, quite a few of my boxed items guys I only collect and I only collect complete things. Maybe early on in my collecting career, which dated back to 2012, I was a bit of a novice. I was collecting items that were sort of not complete, but not not like not you know like rubbish. So they were worth it. But guys, now I only collect completed items. So there is a Tatooine skiff from the Power of the Force, guys. That is incredibly rare. And I picked it up about three years ago for uh, uh, around about 800 pounds. So, and everything is there, guys. If you want me to do a video on it individually, hit me up in the comment section, guys, because I am going to do a video on a lot of the stuff here. So, well, an individual video. Guys, there is the Tauntaun with open belly rescue. So we can stuff Luke Skywalker in there. Sorry guys, I'm putting it out of focus. In focus, there we are. Luke Skywalker can get stuffed in there. Above that we have got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. What a vehicle that is. I spent ages trying to hunt one of them down, a complete one as well. There was always a graded one for sale at like £600, but that's a bit expensive for a Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Guys, you'll see me messing around a lot with the um, with the uh, the focusing. But guys, the Rancor Monster figure. Now this box is exceptional, apart from one side, which is the back side, which is really crumpled in. But this, the Rancor Monster in there has never been taken out. It is still strapped, still got its ties on around its insert and everything. That is a really, really cool piece. Up above, we have got the Endor Forest Ranger, which is complete. Wait, see if we can get a better view of it. That is complete, guys. It's not mint in seal box, but it is mint in box. Everything there. And guys, the, it should really be the centerpiece of the top of here. But in the back there, that is Darth Vader's Star Destroyer action playset. Now, that is mint in box. That has got everything with it. It's never been played with. The stickers have never been applied. You've got all the inserts, all the instructions. That is a real, real, real centerpiece to the thing. But unfortunately, it is covered by the Tatooine skiff, which is just incredible. And guys, moving on. We've got the electronic battle laser game. Now guys, I picked that up at a show called The Farthest From, and that was down Southampton. And bear in mind, that is a journey from mine. I live all the way up in Sheffield, so it's about four and a, four and a half hours to get down there, make the long journey down to pick that item up, but it was well worth it, because even though it's not like action figure based, it's still vintage, it's still Star Wars, and it still finds a place on my shelf. Now up above, now I actually do love the Landspeeder 
not only because it is the, one of the first vehicles he brought out, but it's such an iconic vehicle in the whole set. Now that is the Kenner version. I do have the Palitoy version as well. Unfortunately, I do not have the radio controlled version as of yet in my collection, but we will be looking to add it at some point. If any, guys, if anybody's got any links to that, hit me up. If you know anybody selling one, get at me. The turret and pro bot playset. Now this one, I was on holiday when I was bidding on this one and I had my mum dive into a bidding war for me because obviously I was busy on holiday and she did great. We might have overpaid for it a little bit but it is the rarer box. It's the turret slash pro bot, not turret and pro bot playset, which is a more desirable box. So yeah, we picked that up for around about, at the time it was a bit expensive, it might not be now, but they're 210 pound, I weren't happy with what I paid but I couldn't let it get away. The guy's a really cool playset. So he has the light shining on it, we'll try and get it. But there we are, the Creature Cantina playset. Guys, I can imagine people having a lot of fun with that playset back in the day. It's got so much playability on it and it just you can just recreate so many iconic scenes from the film such as Greedo shooting Han first or did Han shoot Greedo first? We're not sure, but guys, again, it's all complete. Everything is there, instructions. The boxes may not be in 100% condition, but it, all, the, all the flaps are intact. There's no salad tape. There's no touching up with black marker pens, which you do see a lot of nowadays that turns purple. Um, but yeah, guys, all complete. And then up, oh, we've got the Tauntaun, just the normal Tauntaun from The Empire Strikes Back. That is the non-open belly rescue one. And that is, I don't know why it's in a bigger box than the open belly one, I've no idea, but it is. It's got a darker blue on it and a different scene on front. Guys, the artwork on the boxes, by the way, is just something like, just something incredible. Even though that one's a bit cartoony, but the artwork, I always love the artwork on the boxes. That's why I mainly collect play sets and vehicles, just because the artwork's incredible. But yeah, that one's complete as well. We've got the electronic, let me zoom in on him a little bit. We've got the Electra, we are, electronic battle command game. Now guys, these two games, this game and that game, do still work. I've had the batteries in them, using them. Unfortunately, you know what I mean? I grew up in the late 90s, the early 2000s, so I'm more into my Xbox and my Playstations, but they're still unbelievable. And we've got Jabba the Hutt playset. I picked this one up in London for a hundred pound, guys. It's oh, this were about three or four years back, and it's complete. It's got all the inserts. It's got the instructions. It's still got the bagged up Celestius Crumb. If that's how you pronounce it. I always get that one confused. But in case it and I did buy one individually for about eight pound once. But yeah, there he is the little guy. You can't really see him because of the light, but he's there chilling on the side. They've got Luke in. Well, they're not very handcuffs, but they come chained around the neck. That's a bit badass. There we have both Jabba the Hutt's Dungeons playsets. We've got the greenish one that features the last 17 figures in it. Let's just see if we can get a close-up of them. Yeah, there they are. Barada, a man, a man, and AR for 8D summer. <laughs> and there's the um, uh, the orange version of it with Jabba's goons included on the box guys them are both complete unfortunately they do not have the baggies in them so i am looking out for them when i bought them everything was there the instructions the sticker sheets uh all the play sets were intact but they just did not have the baggies so obviously somebody has dug the well opened the box gone into it and took them out and sold me the um sold me the version without the baggies in but Moving on, we have the Scout Walker, the Palitoy Scout Walker, which is the harder one to find than the uh, Kenner uh, Scout Walker, which I do have, but it isn't on display because it's not what it's one of the earliest pieces I collected, so it's not one of the nicest. But guys, the artwork on that one is just unreal. You can just see how cold it is on Hoff. But guys, that one is sweet. Again, it's all complete. Everything is there. Moving on, we've got the droids. Now, guys, the droids is getting so, so, so expensive right now. So I can't bring myself to be buying because I've still got some of the mainline Star Wars things to collect. <coughs> so I'll be sticking with them for the time being. Guys, the A-Wing, that's going up, up and up and up. It's over thousands now. 
but guys I'll be adding, to that, adding that to my collection very soon. Dagobah, let's just move the Death, mini Death Star Escape out of the way just to show Dagobah. Guys, now this I got at the Echo Base Live event which I attend every single year, well twice a year even. Obviously now with Covid it's not on for a while but I'm looking forward to getting back there and spending some money. But guys, that there again is all complete. It's got the original foam, the original sponge like sort of swamp where you can see R2 sinking in it there. But guys, yeah, obviously it's deteriorated a bit but it's been baggied up and kept, kept with it. So at least everything's still there. Guys, the Death, the Mail Away Death Star Escape. That is so cool. See, we can. Wait, I can't focus in because I've not, not got two hands. Yeah, there we are. The Death Star Escape. <laughs> that is nice. Obviously, it's the mini, the mini fig collection. The micro. I can't remember what they were called. The mini, the mini collection. Not the mini rigs, obviously. But guys, moving on, we've got the power of the force. Look at that. That is the one man sand skimmer. But guys, obviously it's very yellow. This one's actually been graded a yellow 75. Obviously because of the yellowing, you can just see it there. But guys, these are very, very, very hard to come by. It's unpunched as well, as you can see. These were very expensive, guys. I think I picked this one up for I think it was 300 pounds but guys that is sweet but yes it's very expensive and sorry about the white light in the back you can see my hand there sorry about the white light in the background that has come away right let me just move him out the way guys look at Barada in the artwork there that's just on the way. pop it down sorry guys for the second right here we have the Rebel Transporter, Empire Strikes Back. I do have the Return of the Jedi Rebel Transport, but again, it was one of the earliest pieces I collected and it's in terrible condition, so it's upstairs in my attic. However, I am moving house soon, so I'll be looking to offload everything in my attic, so keep a lookout for that video, guys. So this is the blue Empire Strikes Back Rebel Transport. This is sold in, this is sold worldwide. So it's sold in America, sold in England, basically is what I mean by that. But above it, we have the yellow Rebel Transport. Now this is exclusive to America, guys. And I had to go all the way to the Chicago Star Wars celebration to pick this up. I was actually um, recognized there by a guy I know from the events that we attend and uh, you're asking me loads of questions about it and guys did I look stupid carrying that around with me all day and when I got back to England and went to an event in England some people recognised me oh were you the guy that were carrying the Rebel Transport around Chicago like, yeah unfortunately it's a big lump guys FedEx tried to charge me £960 to get it back from to get it from Chicago all the way to my house in England and then when, they, when she said £960 everybody burst out laughing but we went to the uh, American Postal Service who did the great deed. I think they charged me £60 plus £80 import charges, which is not bad compared to £960. But guys, the first mini rig, the Cap 2, which is mint in sealed box. I love the pink background. What on earth, what on earth is Bosk doing in the front there? What is, what is he doing there? Guys, that is a sick, sick mini rig. Guys, the Ewok Combat Glider. Let's zoom in on it. Oh, guys, that is sick. So all min, all there, all instructions. It's got the insert with it. We've got the speeder bike, which has got the insert. With it. I can't. That's not the plastic insert one. That's the cardboard insert one. But guys, again, all there. The Imperial Attack Base. Now that is unreal. It's got everything with it, the inserts, it's got the instruction sheets, the sticker sheet. Guys, that is really, really a good play set. And that is one of my favourites. So, guys, that there is the whole of the top shelf. Guys, we're moving on to the bottom shelf. Let's go. Right guys, I say bottom shelf, I meant second shelf. This is one you primarily see, no it's not actually the one you primarily see behind my head actually, but guys, we'll start off with everything on the bottom. We have got a U, it is not vintage necessarily on this one, but it's mainly all vintage and a few miscellaneous items that I've picked up. But guys, we have got the USB R2D2, one gig USB. 
Guys, we've got Return of the Jedi tin, a vintage tin with a lot of vintage weapons in it that I've picked up along the way. Wait, can we pop it open? We aren't knocking stuff over. Yeah, yes, we can. We've got the pegs for the, oh, what's it called? The Cantina playset, the Sears exclusive one. Uh, we've got Yoda's backpack with Luke. We've got the masks. We've got, ooh, that dropped on the floor. We've got C3PO's backpack for Chewbacca to carry him. But guys, let's move along the figures. We've got the Ewoks, not all of them, I'm still after two more. There's eight, but the prices are going insane at the minute. Got the Rebel Soldier chilling in the background with all his boys. And then we move on to Jabba's goons, man, the Gamorrean guard, he's a goon. All the boys there, Barada, Squidhead, Nikto, there's loads of them. Um, chilling in the background. And then we've got Leia in Boosh disguise on the pure chiller in the back with the helmet on we've also got Lando in disguise in the background right there now we've got two of the Luke's guys we've got the the blue lightsaber one and the green lightsaber one now this figure here the blue one is really really special to me because this is the first figure along with another figure that I will show you soon I ever owned this is what my mum bought me Oh, we're talking way back in the day when I was still in school and she bought me these when we went to Cleethorpes once to a store and um, uh, basically we, we got them, we got the speeder bike as well actually that I will show you in a minute and another vehicle which is behind him but uh, these are what really got me into collecting even though I was about 12, 13 when she got me these so it was like back in 2007 maybe and uh, I fell out with stuff like this and went into football until I was about 18 and I found these out of the attic and this is what really ignited my uh, collecting addiction so I started collecting in 2012 and here I am in 2020 with the collection I'm showing you now so yeah thank you Luke Skywalker so we've got here we've got we've got the Luke Skywalker in stock Oops, sorry Luke, come on man, stand up. Oh, Lando, come on, you don't take a dive now. Right, wait, we'll stand Lando up and put your helmet back on, sir. You're in disguise, you fool. So yes, that is Luke in his Stormtrooper disguise. That is just a sick last 17 figure. They should have done a Han Solo one. But yeah, we've got all the boys, the at, -AT driver. Stormtroopers, some, um, I forgot his name to be fair, is it the commander, no I forgot his name, but guys this is the other first figure I ever owned, we got the dad and son combo, yes guys they are quite dusty, I need to dust them all off when I'm moving, he's got Stormtrooper behind him, backing him up, there's the Emperor guys, this is a, um, a Power of the Force 2 actually, um, Death Star like sort of place there. I thought it just looked good as a bit of a backdrop on the um, uh, on the shelf just to like show the figures off a bit better. Imperial Dignitary then has he got a little bit of nose rub? Let's have a look. Go on, focusing on his face, man. Let's do it. Oh, he's not gonna do it. No, screw you, Dignitary. But yeah guys, he's there, last 17 figure, we've got him Emperor's Royal Guards in the back. We've got the um, the Death Star droid. And then we've got the Red Ranger in the background. Like I say guys, just miscellaneous, miscellaneous items that I've picked up along the way. My girlfriend actually bought me that because I'm a big Power Rangers fan as well. Here we have one of my uh, good friends in collecting. He um, he does a lot of running, does a lot of things for charities. The Stormtrooper runner, if you've ever seen him on anything on Instagram or have you seen him doing the marathons in the Stormtrooper outfit? That's one of his medals you can win if you uh, if you do some running, guys. Get out there and get active and get them medals. I think he's got some new ones now, but get at him, guys. That's a mini Lego Pikachu, man. Guys, that took me. That my fingers were hurting after making that. Guys. Oral B vintage Star Wars toothbrushes. I think that is Vader, and then we've got the ones underneath. Can't really tell which ones they are from here. So we've got uh, the Leia, the Luke Skywalker, R2D2, and the Ewoks right there. 
That there is my five day adult pass to the Star Wars celebration in Chicago. That's what I got out of some mini like mystery box weird thing from Japan. That is pretty cool, just a lightsaber. Guys, the cool rebel ring that I got from the Star Wars celebration. That is pretty sweet. Guys, I joined in in making the diorama at the Star Wars celebration. This is my Ewok that I made for it. Painted him myself. Can't focus on him. That is sweet. And then, guys, the two Disney droids. I got C3PO from Disney. Oh, no, I didn't. I got R2D2 from Disneyland Paris. He's got the Disney ears on. Mix and matched him. And then I got C3PO from Disney World in Florida. Made him up. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Guys, they're, um, they're some of my favourite items on the shelf just because the memories that go with actually like obtaining them too. Well, just basically all them items there. But guys, we are on to the boxed things behind. Let me, oh, guys, the, the stepladder's in the way. Let's move the stepladder, guys. There's around my room, we're moving the stepladder. Right, here we are, the Atta. Let's focus in on you, my guy. So yes guys, obviously I've got the box for it and it's I've got the inserts, all the instruction sheets that this one has got the stickers applied. That's how it came, but I have bought an independent um, uh, sticker sheet for it just to go in the box. All the electronics work, the original chin guns which cost me £50 quite recently actually, about a year ago and I've never actually, for some reason I never actually bought them like straight away which is a bit weird. But guys, we've got the twin pod cloud car. When my dad was drunk once, I once asked him if he'd bite me and he said yeah, when I was about 19. What a sucker. But guys, there's the other matching one. That is the Scout Security Scout. There's another one. I need the Imperial Sniper, guys. So if anybody <coughs> has got any connections, hit me up. But guys, that one is very expensive. That's another yellow 75 grade as well. <coughs> uh, Power of the Force, guys. A very, very, very rare item. But guys, we have got the Y-Wing Fighter, guys. That's another graded vehicle at 70. That's never been opened. It's mint in sealed box. That's an awesome, awesome piece for the shelf. Here we've got the survival kit. Oh, we've got Jabba's goons in front of the survival kit, but there it is. That's also graded at 75, I believe. I can't really see it from here, but it got damaged in postage, unfortunately, as you can see there. That's fallen away from that, and, but it's uh, luckily it's all encased in there now guys we've got the mini rigs we've got the vehicle maintenance energizer mint and sealed box the isp6 which is my most treasured vehicle of all of them because this is the first one i got along with another vehicle i'm going to show you after the isp6 is darth vader's single manned imperial shuttle and this is an unreal thing to have in my collection. Like I said, it just means so much to me. The AST-5 mini rig, mint in sealed box again. Guys, I've got all these cases from GW Acrylics. So hit them up guys, you can get them on eBay and they've got their own website and they make unreal acrylic cases for things. Right, moving on, we have got the Cantina Pally toy playset. This is more of a cardboard playset. It's a bit flimsier, but guys, made by Pally toy in the UK. This is just an unreal playset, guys. And this is really expensive compared to the uh, the Kenner Cantina playset. Behind it, guys, we've got the Droid Factory Pally toy one. Oh, I'm still looking for the yellow base put uh, yellow base Pally toy Droid Factory. So if anybody's got any of them, hit me up, guys. We have got the Cloud City playset. The box is not in the best condition, but everything is there inside. It's got, obviously, the playset. It's got the uh, instructions. It's got everything, guys. It's got the pegs. It's such, such a cool set. And guys, it's one of the earliest pieces I got. It really needs to be looked after a bit more, but unfortunately it's without a case at the minute. But behind it is probably one of my favourite sets, the Rebel Command Centre Adventure Set. Now guys, this is a basic set, just reused white plastic bases from the... Um, oh, what set is it? From the... Oh guys, I can't think. Obviously the Land of the Jowers play set is the yellow one. But what? What am I? 
What playset is it? Oh, I can't think. There's another one. Oh, the Hoff, Hoff Adventure set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, we're there. But guys, this is just a remake of that. But basically, they still had, they had loads of leftover white bases and thought we'll stick some more cardboard on the back and put them um, no, and push it off as a playset. But guys, it worked. I mean, it's just unreal. I absolutely love this set. I used to have it on display, but I didn't want it getting dust all over it. But guys, the speeder bike is another vehicle that means so much to me because along with the Darth Vader, the Luke Skywalker and the ISP-6, this is one of the first vehicles, well the first vehicle, sorry, along with the ISP-6 ISP that I ever owned and I managed to keep it in its box with all its inserts all these years, probably got this in 2007, I didn't start collecting until 2012 so I did well to keep it from, uh, keep it in good condition for five years. Guys, I'll just skip past these two bits first. But there is the tripod laser cannon, the first ever mint and sealed item I ever owned. That is, yeah, like I said, mint and sealed box. Behind it, we've got the Rebel Armored Snow Speeder tri logo. Guys, or is it the Buy logo? I'm not sure which one it is. I haven't had a look at it in a while. But guys, that there is all complete, like everything else is on this shelf. I only collect complete things with everything with them. And guys, below is my favourite land speeder, the Pally Toy version. The box is so nice, 1977. That is so cool, it's got a little tear on the side, which is not ideal, but yeah, I've not seen one since. I've not seen one in as good condition since, obviously, at the inside parts in good condition but guys on to the main pieces of this shelf we are sorry about the uh, the light but here we have the best spin security guard proof card from revenge of the jedi as you can see there they proof carded them all before they made them i can't focus in on it and then george lucas deterred that changed the name to return of the jedi obviously because jedis do not want revenge but that there is an awesome piece to have in the collection. And then below it, we've got a test sample Gamorrean guard. I do have the certificate of authenticity. It's just here, CIB, that is collectible investment brokerage. They've signed it all off. A very credible man has um, signed it. But guys, this here is, I can't get it out, but we can just see it there. It's a Gamorrean guard that has had different paint used on it like test paint so you can see he's got black armor pieces he's got black shoulder pads and stuff like that whereas on the on the mass produced figure it's all silver and it's got a staple in front that did used to have the tag on it test sample but that had been fall that's fallen off before it got graded so it's a test sample guys where they're using different colors just to see what it comes out like that's another awesome piece to add in the collection really rare piece there so guys that there is is shelf number two right we're on to the actual bottom shelf now right guys here we are on shelf two so this has also got a lot of miscellaneous items that have made its way onto it but first of all we've got a flyer from 1983 keeper rancor keeper free and i've definitely joined in on that but guys we've got some of the mail away free figures in the thing, as you can see on there, the Bib Fortuna has got his burgundy coat, which is a very rare figure to get. And the Squid Head's got a black cape, which is again very rare to have. But the baggies aren't in that box, unfortunately. That was a box on its own that I purchased for £127 about five or six years ago. And um, I've been looking to offload that to um, produce some funds to buy something else, Star Wars. So, guys, if anybody wants it, hit me up. We've got the Star Wars Celebration lunchbox there, vintage style. Guys, every like mislike memorabilia item that I picked up from the Celebration is stored in there. A very nice piece, a very memorable piece. Guys, some of the things that I've um, opened in the videos that I've done on the channel. Some sweet little mini figs, but guys, onto the figures. We've got the Han Carbonite block. The blue snaggle tooth, which is different to the red snaggle tooth because it was just going off what they saw on a picture and then when they saw the film and realized that it was red and not blue and short and not tall and he didn't have space boots on. Didn't have space boots on. He had his feet out basically and then they changed it. We've got a lot of the last 17 figures here. Nice Han Solo with um, 
Obviously, he's been working out his neck. Look at look at his neck on that. We've got the droids pop-up lightsaber R2-D2. I picked that up for about £350 a couple of years back. We've got the red bar R5-D5. I, I, I forgot his name. But yeah, you can just see those damage guys, but it's the red bar one. We've got Leia, Hoff Leia, Hoff Luke. You've dropped your weapon, sir. Pick it back up. We've got the Hoff Luke that came with the Rebel Command Center. Look at the coloring, he comes with a different weapon. We've got the Spiker Scout. We've got the Imperial Snowtroopers. Han, Hoff, Hoff, Han, whichever one you want. The last 17 Lando Calrissian. His weapons also. They, they struggle holding them nowadays, and even back then they made them, didn't really make them very playable. But we've got the Gary <laughs> Gary Medine, <laughs> striker for when uh, ex striker for Sheffield Wednesdays. The General Medine. We've got Anakin Skywalker, Nien Num. We've got ooh, we've got a Han in trench coat and a Lily Leddy Han in trench coat. That is a very very nice figure, a very desirable figure as well. Here we've got the Sand Tuscan Raider Sand people. We've got Leia who has also dropped her weapon. That's a weapon there on the floor. Leia, come on. Yeah, we've got the uh, is it the B-wing pilot? We've got the Tie Fighter pilot. We've got the three thugs in the back. Hammerhead, um, Walrus Man, and Greedo. Guys, right behind there, we've got the uh, YPS Snowtrooper. Oh, guys! Oh, I'm knocking everything over. But yeah, there it's got the different weapon. It came with the German magazine. But it's the YPS Snowtrooper that's graded at an 85 near mint, which is very, very nice, very desirable piece. Let me try and pick Greedo up. We out. There we are. So moving on, we've got the Droid Factory R2D2. I made him and just put him there. It's a sweet, sweet piece. We've got the Half Wampa. We've got. Lando with a bobble around him, Lucy, the girlfriend, uh, flung a bobble at me once and it missed me and I turned around to see where it had landed and it had landed exactly there, hence why I haven't moved it. We've got a Cloud City pilot there, Cloud City car pilot, sorry there. Guys, they're very hard to come by nowadays and I picked that up for £25 about five years ago. We've got the Bespin security guards. We've got Lobo, uh, Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker in his uh, X-Wing uniform, we've got Bespin Luke, we've got Last 17 Luke, uh, we've got Leia, is it Bespin Leia, yes, we've got all the Bounty Hunters, we've got the A-Wing pilot, but no A-Wing, sorry my friend, we've got Bespin Han there in the background, We've got R2-D2 sensor scope there. We've also got another sensor scope R2-D2 there because he came with the Rebel Command Center. Guys, I've got a few fake shelf talkers. They're not real. I won't try and pass them off as real. Just to spruce up the collection a bit, just to make the make it look a bit more like, like it were a shop, for example. That is the look I'm going for. But now, guys, we've got the first 12 stand. Now this is a special stand because again I got this very early on into my collecting career. So let's just start from the Jawa. It's unfortunately a cloth cape Jawa which I'm looking to upgrade to a VCJ a vinyl cape Jawa soon guys but not yet. I haven't got the funds yet. We've got the Stormtrooper. Sorry guys the light. The Stormtrooper right there. Then we've got the Death Squad Commander. We've got 3PO, C3PO there. We've got the telescoping lightsaber, Ben Kenobi. And then we've got Vader. Then we've got the hollow tube Tuscan Raider, Sand People. There is, you see the hollow tubes. And then we've got the double telescoping lightsaber, Luke Skywalker, guys. This is a really, really rare piece that I got all the way from America. It's got a double telescoping lightsaber, guys. It's, I don't think any of the inner filament is missing. So that is a really nice piece. I will get that out and oh, I can't move the things about because it's in a Perspex case, but I will get that out, guys, at some point and show that one off. We've got a Han Solo with missing a bit of his fringe. I need to upgrade Han. 
We've got Chewbacca. We've got a minty layer. Look at that. Just pure white. And then we've got a solid dome R2D2. That is just an unreal display them of the first 12 figures but guys we are moving on to what's in the back of this now so get ready right guys here we are behind some carded figures we've got a nikto try and get him now there we are we have got a clark tool we have got an 8d8 We've got a Cantina Adventure set there. The box is in terrible condition, guys, but it's got everything in it again. We've got a Han Solo in trench coat to go with the normal Han and the Lily Lady Han, if we focus on them there. And guys, we've got a really nice piece in the middle. We've got an Imperial TIE Fighter, the white TIE Fighter, guys, from Star Wars 1977. Guys, this is a lovely, lovely vehicle everything there again guys we've got a we've got a de la forest endor which is the forest endor ranger vehicle in the different box guys to the one above this is the tri logo version of it it is once again mint and seal box that cost me around 155 pounds the one man sale skiff that there that one is mint in sealed box again can't remember how much that one cost we've got another mini rig the mtv7 the music television 7 vehicle that is also mint in sealed box now guys the best part about the shelf is this box first of all we've got the early bird certificate package now this has been opened but absolutely everything is there and i picked this up on ebay about four years ago guys for about 360 pound i'd hate to imagine how much this will worth now but guys it's one of them things i would never ever consider parting with and behind we have got the original death star now the only thing i'm missing for the death star is the um, is the booklet that comes with it and that is going for an insane price as well over a hundred pounds but guys that uh, everything is with it i've built it up before when i received it i got this for a present actually at christmas a few years back and i built it up just to make sure everything was there and everything is there guys and that is really really an unbelievable piece but guys that is it for that shelf let us move down so guys this is what you might be able to see while i'm uh, filming there's my little drawers guys we have got an x-wing fighter we've got a land of the jowers action playset a snow speeder with the pink background we've got three there we are three patrol do bags we've got a mint and sealed one we've got a mint in box one and we've got just a box that's right just a box but there we are we've got the kenner droid factory the empire strikes back slave one and underneath we've got the b-wing fighter now guys these aren't just sat on the floor there's the other rancor monster these are sat on a cushioned like mat sort of thing so they don't get damaged and guys they're only resting on top of each other i never ever put anything heavy on them or anything like that they're, they that's how they were stored in shops guys they can hold their own weight and they can hold the weight of other ones oh sorry guys we've got the the tie interceptor which is my favorite of the tie fighter vehicles the interceptor guys that one's not a very good condition but that one there is a mint in not mint in sealed box you can see it's sealed there but a mint in box one funny story about this one i got this one delivered to work uh, just because people are there all the time rather than delivering at home because i always used to get stung with well we need a signature which is fair dues but it's a ball ache in it after work um, so anyway, this one got delivered to work, and uh, I always get um, my mum. My mum works in the office. I always get her to open them just to so I can see what it is. And um, she left the open box like that it was in on the um, on the desk, and my dad threw it in the skip one night. And when he got in, I says, "Oh, dad, where's that thing that you were uh, that you were meant to bring home for me?" He says, "What thing?" I says, "Oh, there are a box on the side that you were that you were meant to bring home for me. Uh, my mum left it there." And he says, "Oh, oh," and I'm like, "What?" 
He says, I threw a boxing skip on my way out. I says, in the skip? So anyway, me and him raced back to the yard and there it were laid in a pile of rubbish, but luckily it was still in the box that it came in and obviously that was well protected. So guys, that was a lucky escape. But here we have the uh, display set uh, mint in uh, mint. Oh god, there's the. Oh, no, there mind. Mint in its uh, packaging. I'll show you which which one it is. It's it's that one, the white one, the L-shaped ones. Um, uh, the guy whose address is on there is from America. I emailed the guy, and he says he remembers getting it as a present, and it's made it's all the way over to Sheffield to me. But there is the uh, complete space uh, Death Star space station. Everything is with that instructions and the job lot, the works. Let's just move this way because we've got the Ewok Village. That one is complete. It's got everything with it. One of the sides has come up and the tapes come loose. But there we are. That is min. Underneath we have got the Imperial Shuttle. Now the box is not in very good condition. And this is one of the pieces that I only have the box and the shuttle with. I don't have any of the inserts. I do not have the instructions or anything. So guys, I'm looking to get an upgrade of that very soon. But here we have guys the Ewok village sorry about my knee there that is a graded piece graded at 80 guys where is the grade I think it is on the opposite side it's on this side of the box somewhere but guys that is an awesome awesome piece that cost me 300 pounds as well guys we have got I've got the remote for this and it does actually work the sand crawler remote control radio controlled as they used to call it sand crawler and that is a nice piece it works and everything let's just pop it down there there guys is the attach box it's got everything with it uh, we've got some jigsaws that me and Lucy like you doing together we love a good jigsaw but guys let me just get this box out and uh, just place the box on here let's open it up guys this has got a lot of the instructions for some of the sets, we've got the Hoff Ice Point, all sticker sheets, guys, it's got all sorts in there, pamphlets, booklets, guys, these, uh, as well as what uh, what comes in the box, all of them have got all their instructions in, and these are the ones that I just collect individually, because I just love the artwork on them, guys, that toothbrush is for cleaning off items, obviously not for brushing my teeth, where you can, obviously my teeth aren't that dirty, well, I hope not, anyway, guys, let's shut that up, and guys, let us just view it in its entirety, because that is the collection right there. But guys, I'll just quickly show you the Imperial Shuttle. Guys, there is the Imperial Shuttle. What a lovely vehicle that is. Legion United shorts in the background, guys, signed. Big Legion United fans in this house. There are the mini rigs, guys, the mountain of mini rigs. They're all not, they're all in varying conditions, but you've got some nice pieces here, such as the Ewok Assault Catapult, the INT4, which is in good condition. Look at the state of that AST5, the Hoff one, but guys, it's, uh, it's very old. What do you expect? Just a back view of the collection in the corner of the room. Let's focus the camera. Pretty cool guys, I've got to pack all this away soon because I'm moving house and obviously I've got to take it all with me. So I'll do a video on me putting it all back in bags and boxes and see how long it takes me. And guys, that is it. That is the entirety of my Star Wars collection guys. That took me eight years to collect minus the four pieces that I got five years prior to 2012, so 2007. But eight years of solid collecting guys and that is what I have to show for it and guys I would not change it for the world I wouldn't swap any item I would never dream of selling any item guys these items are with me to to the grave guys let's be honest I will never part with them not even for any amount of money guys it just means so much to me and that is what collecting is all about guys where you find something you find a market that you just love so much and you would do literally guys it's all about the it's like striving to get that next piece and like
you know there's search for it as well and like guys it's so worth the wait when you've been searching ages for a piece and you finally get it and guys I just can't explain it guys I'm sure you'll feel all the same about certain things, Pokemon collecting and everything like that, guys. It's all worth it. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Oh, you're a weirdo. You're sad for doing this, that. I've been called it all, guys. And believe you me, I've got thick skin. It don't bother me. So, guys, if you like collecting things, and who cares what it is? Who cares what it is? Football boots. I've got loads of mates that collect football boots. That seems daft to me, but they don't care. So... I'm not going to care about vintage Star Wars figures and what they think about them. I love them. I love Pokemon cards as well. I collect them. I'll be showcasing them soon. But guys, as of today, thank you for sticking with me through that. I know it were a long video, but guys, it needed to be long to showcase all that. As always, guys, if you like what you see and want to see them individually, leave a comment down below of which item is your favourite and which you want to see individually. Now, guys, I will do a video on them because I need to do it anyway. I've been meaning to do it. But, guys, right, have a good day. Have a good rest of your week. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, the thumbs up button, and peace out.